So uh, most of us would never really put a book in a freezer on purpose unless you're really sleepy. <laughs> But it does happen all the time in one state building, and you visited the state archives and found it. Uh, this is something very interesting that they do. Oh my gosh, they have it all pictures, books, maps. And when I showed up there and got the tour, it really looked like an episode of CSI. Oh. Check, check this out. Okay. I mean, it kind of feels like we're at the NSA or something. Yeah, right? <laughs> These halls and... Industrial corridors, specialized rooms, and beeping badges to get through every door. This isn't the start of a spy movie, but what it takes to preserve records. We have a, about 40,000 in our photo collection, give or take a few. Archivist Ted Hale says you can view maps, books, governor's speeches, and historic murder weapons downtown at the archives building. Mold is there. It is there. Ben Hardison spots mold with a black light. He and Carlos Lopez then quarantine documents like they were zombies so they don't infect or damage other materials that come here from around the state. Bugs burrowed in old books are frozen in their tracks in the 40 below zero blast freezer. We freeze it and then refreeze it just to make sure that everything's dead. Restoration techs piece damaged maps together, painting the picture of old towns. Oh, this one here, was printed in uh, 81, 1881. Once a document is deemed safe, it's stored here at 55 degrees, the ideal temperature to preserve paper. And there's a lot of it in this building, enough to stretch all the way from Phoenix 